till it's over. That's just one of the many famous quotes by New York Yankees legend Yogi Berra, who died Tuesday night at the age of 90. Berra has gone down in history as one of the greatest Major League Baseball players of all time. His real name is Lawrence Peter Berra, yet the whole world knew him only as Yogi, his childhood nickname. And Barrow was perhaps the greatest catcher who ever lived. Many are celebrating the wit and the wisdom of this baseball legend. Rod Carter joining us now live from George M. Steinbrenner Field in Tampa. What a man, just all around. Great player, just great for history. Absolutely. You know, the world of sports and certainly the world in general is going to miss Yogi Berra. In fact, at Steinbrenner, you can see that there are tributes out here. There's a wreath that sits next to George, uh, that sits next to Yogi Berra's name and his number, number eight. And then people have been bringing up mementos as well. You can see there's a yoo hoo there, some flowers, and a baseball that has rest in peace. But today I got the opportunity to sit down one on one with a man who actually knew Yogi Berra personally. And he built an entire television network based on legends just like him. And he's says Yogi Berra inspired the world. Uh, do you have a favorite Yogi Berra quote? Um, I think it's, I th you know, it's the standard one that everybody says, it ain't over till it's over. Bill Rasmussen it's, it's knows a thing or two about Yogi Berra. He is one of the co-founders of ESPN. He knew him personally and says the world lost a great man, a diamond both on and off it. It's an amazing loss. Rasmussen told me he has always been impressed with Berra's wit and memory. One play in particular stands out. Moose, three runs, upper deck, left center field. We won 6-4. He played in... 14 World Series. He played for 16 years, managed for I don't know how many. Instant recall of a single home run that won a particular game. It's astounding. Rasmussen, who calls the Newport Ritchie area home now, <laughs> helped launch the now iconic sports network in 1978. Born from his love of Barra, baseball, and all things sports, really. It was a good idea then, and I think what uh, when people said, who's going to watch sports all the time? A single purpose network. Nobody nobody thought that would work. Well, where are we right now with this Denver offense? Clearly the naysayers were wrong. Now there are seven ESPN channels in the United States and 46 internationally. Started in part by a man USA Today dubbed the father of cable sports. Rasmussen and others arguably did for sports television programming what Barra did for the game of baseball. He changed it. But how much of an influence did Yogi Berra and people like that have on oh, your huge. starting ESPN? Oh, huge. And Russ Houston told me that he actually started ESPN, uh, co-founded ESPN shortly after being fired. He was actually an announcer for a hockey team, and he got a phone call. Yeah, he got a phone call one day that says, don't even come back. It's proof that through adversity sometimes comes the greatest triumph of all. Stace? Isn't that the truth? All right, interesting story. Rod Carter, live in Tampa. Thank you.